Hello. Uh, Friday, August 17, 5.32 p.m. I'm not dead. I just saw a post and I saw previous posts uh, on some of the videos that said something along the lines of me being dead or... Uh, none of that's true. Um, I don't know, I decided today to kind of, kind of address that in case somebody were to suspect that or believe that. Um, I haven't made any videos because I was in a state of... I've just been feeling sad, depressed, all these negative feelings, I've just been feeling really bad and I just did not want to make any videos about that. Um, I didn't want to mi mirror those kinds of uh, thoughts or images. And I don't want to, you know, something like that, I don't like to, sp I don't want, to, I think it's a bad idea to spread that negativity. Um, just, I just didn't want to do anything like that. Plus I was feeling overwhelmed. Hopefully everything's coming out fine, I have the air conditioner going. And behind me is a white wall. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to do that. I mean, yeah, overwhelmed. I've been feeling overwhelmed, so this is kind of overwhelming. Not right, I guess, a little bit right now. I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. But uh, fighting strong. Um, Yeah, a lot of different things that made me feel overwhelmed, so I kind of went into a state of, uh, I guess, reclusion. I don't know if that's the correct word I'm using, but just to, just kind of in words. I, um, I barely went outside. I mean, summer's almost coming to an end. I had a lot of uh, a lot of different expectations, a lot of different plans and ideas, but uh, they didn't work out that way. It's fine. Um, so. Pretty much, I spent most of my time indoors in this room. Um, I played a lot of different video games. It's just kind of uh, as a form of escape. Um, and just about two days ago, I kind of stopped playing the last game I was playing. And I need to make a a conscious, not a. Um, I think I just need to stay away from video games because I, it's just a form of escape for me. And I, yeah, I, I have fun, I have enjoyment, but the, the primary the, the primary reason yeah. is escape and enjoyment, fun, everything along those lines. Is, that's all secondary. If the primary is to escape, then I shouldn't be doing it. Plus, I waste a lot of time. I waste a lot of time. Um, I can save since. Uh, What's before April? Like I guess two months before April, till August. I mean, all that time—it's it's, it's all been wasted. All that time is gone. And, uh, I can't say that you know nothing happened after that time. Uh, every day I learned something new. So, learning always took place. Not either about myself or just about different things around the world. I I did keep. I, I, I did my best to keep up with current events, so I'm up to date on everything. Not just so I can talk about it, but just from my own personal understanding of what's happening and uh, the direction of everything's going. Um, I've been thinking about something for the past two months. Oh, uh, well, let me just. I'll do it like this. My computer died. This is where I am. I hope it's the same. I'm just kind of against the wall. In an uncomfortable position, and I'm using the the webcam from my desktop computer. Even though I have a, a webcam in my netbook, because I'm on my netbook right now, um, because the webcam in my netbook is not that great. Um, yeah, something happened with my computer about a week ago. I took out the. I did everything I could. I think it's either the power supply or it is the motherboard. Or it could even be the hard drive. And I don't know. Hopefully later I would be able to access the hard drive by itself on a different computer to extract all the files. But I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it up as it is. I know I have a lot of different things to do with this. I have about five, six months worth of messages that I need to get back to. I will get back to that at some point. 
um, but I thought just making this video was a little bit important because some of you, the last post again, somebody suggested that I was dead or I was in a coma car accident, that's not true. Um, I've been writing the past week and a half, two weeks. I've been oh, writing some different ideas. I've been putting some things in writing. It's all a draft. All of it has to be worked out. I mean, this is a draft. Um, I know in one of the videos, I don't know when, at one point, I did mention I wanted to run for a political uh, office job in the state. And I've been kind of thinking about that seriously, considering it. Well, I think I already made up my mind about that. Uh, that's why I've been writing uh, my ideas. Um, I'm still not finished with it. I think I need to add a few more things. And the way I'm going to proceed from that is once I, f I feel like I've finished... I've mm, I've put together enough ideas. Uh, unfortunately, it's not something I can just sit here and, and and have it done in an hour because I have to have moments of clarity and, and uh, of peace in order to to write this, some of the stuff. Uh, a lot of the stuff is, I think, not the word naive might be suited for it. Um, that's why it's a first draft. Um, there are some personal experiences attached to some of the ideas. Um, that's why it needs to be a little bit reworked and a little bit tweaked for a more... for a more... I guess... for it to be a little bit more reasonable and again for a reasonable person to read this and understand it as opposed to reading it and saying not making any sense of it because it's just it's it's just random ideas after another um, that's what I've been kind of doing right now I moved uh, Charlie's uh, my cat Charlie's um, what is this thing called the thing that cats um, poop and pee in and there's like a, you have to put a little sand in it. Not sand, but litter box. I moved Charlie's litter box into my room. So you have the saying, uh, uh, don't shit where you sleep, or something along those lines. So that's exactly what Charlie's been doing. Because it's this thing is right there. And there's a reason for that. Hmm. I'll share one one idea with you. It's very interesting. I mean, not interesting, but it's very relevant because. We have a serious immigration problem in the United States, uh, and the people in office don't seem to be, I guess they don't seem to be either smart enough or involved enough to figure this out because, I mean, look at this, I mean, this is just an example. This is my video card for my desktop computer. I was looking at this while I was installing the webcam software. Look how complicated all of this is. I have no idea what all this stuff is. There's little, little pieces of stuff here. I don't know, little black boxes. There's some uh, soldering metal. There's some wiggly lines that connect into some things. And at some point, there's this. There's these little um, things where you connect the wire that connects into your computer, and from that you have graphics you can play I mean this is not a, a top-of-the-line graphics card but uh, let's just let's for for argument's sake let's assume this is the best video card and from this you can play Skyrim or Heroes of New York for any type of video game that that requires a demanding video card to uh, uh, 
it's the word to render uh, I guess I guess to render to illuminate to illustrate all the graphics and all the work that the artist put into designing this game just from the, uh, the from the graphics point of view not the programming gameplay elements um, yeah, it's so complicated look there's this little boxes here this I know this is a heat sink this is a heat sink this captures all the heat that this thing creates I don't know how or why and it, the heat's supposed to come out this is so complicated I have no idea what this is but this works and um, you know when this was created at some point when people were working on creating the computer or parts like this you know they weren't considering you know uh, they weren't considering there's going to be a game called Heroes of New York or Skyrim or any type of game. I'm using these two particular games because I have some videos about them, so somewhat relevant. But, you know, they had other, other plans for this. They had different ideas for this. And they were smart enough to come up with this. Somebody was smart enough to come up with this. And it's, you know, I mean, we don't always take it for granted. I mean, from time to time, people think about their computer and how complicated it is but the point is that people are smart enough to come up with this you know this is not space age technology from the year 2500 that somebody went into a time machine and brought back this was created recently by people using their brain and they were able to do that with the well so complicated. I have no idea what all of these different things do. I know that if I remove one thing, this thing is not going to work. So all of this is connected. I mean, even just, I didn't go over this, but, you know, the part where you plug in the wire, uh, you know, all of this is connected to that part or where all that energy or whatever goes into here. So complicated. But somebody did this, somebody created this. And then they later mass produced this and now this is a household product. Much like a pillow. I mean the computer it's almost standard. It's a standard thing to have. Like electricity. I mean, in, in the more, you know, I mean, everybody who's watching this, I'm sure they don't have problems with electricity or, or computers. But it is. In, in progressive. Hello? What's up? Can I call you back? Um, I mean, this is not everywhere in the world. I mean, you still have parts of the world who don't have clean drinking water. Um, but I just wanted to make that point because, I mean, you multiply this by a million. We just managed to land, uh, the United States just managed to land the second rover into Mars. I mean, you essentially multiply this by a million, the technology brain power, the commitment, the time, the resources, pull them all together and you create some sort of a, a thing that goes up into the atmosphere, manages to fly into outer space and then land on Mars. I mean this year alone I haven't made any videos but this is fascinating. I mean, I mean at first I was a little skeptical about the whole thing but uh, from the last time I made uh, videos I watched two privately owned um, space rockets go up into space because uh, the current US administration the president uh, President Obama's administration decided to um, to privatize some aspects of the space uh, I guess you can call it the space exploration program they, they wanted to privatize some aspects of it where they would want I mean the way that it's working right now is they want um, private they want business um, they want business, I guess they want business to fly up supplies up into the International Space Station because it costs government way too much money and they feel that if they were to re relinquish that, that, 
that service out of the hands of government bureaucracy that the business, the free market system um, would be able to do it cheaper because there would be competition and it worked out. At first I was skeptical about that because I feel that the government should it should only be the government's role in space exploration because uh, there will be things where it's not unpro you know it's, it's there's no profit to be made on flying a, a rover onto Mars and taking a few photos unless you were to, to, to sell those photos for billions of dollars so some aspects of it the government should play a role because uh, it's, it's, it's a long-term commitment I mean um, how do I put this? How do I explain this? Uh, with, with, with space exploration, there's no results within our current lifespan. The results will be for the next generation of people. That's the way I, I feel it and believe in it. So if we decide to not work on it because there are no immediate results and benefits to society, um, we will never see any benefits from it. The only benefit... Uh, mm, in space exploration there is almost no immediate benefits short-term benefits it's all long-term that's the way I want to say it okay um, okay so back to that it worked out I mean I watched two space rockets fly up they were privately owned they were business business people created that I mean, I mean they hired the scientists and the engineers to work on it and the government gave out some of its patent patent and gave out some of its information to help them create the rockets and the propulsion system in order to you know fly up straight because that at some point in our history it was a problem to create a, a rocket propulsion system that would be able to fly up directly straight because there was moments and there was not moments but there were experiences with the rocket if the rocket were to deviate just a little bit it would it would it would just all mess up um, yeah. So with all that in mind, I mean, you had. I mean, this requires tremendous amount of effort and dedication and, and the pooling of resources. Not just simply money, but people's intellect and an ability to problem solve and to critically critically think to make it all work. And I see that as harder than simply solving some of today's issues, problems within governments, within things like conflicts and war. Uh, I mean, I, I just think that we lack, not that we lack, it just my perception is that we have too many people in government that are businessmen, that come from uh, the background of a businessman. Um, I disagree with that. I think we, yes, we should have some people from in our government that come from a businessman's background, uh, from a background of uh, making money is number one priority. But, um, but, but at the same time, we should have all forms of not all forms of, but all types of people from all various types of backgrounds come in together into government, and then by having all of these different conflicting issues, conflicting interests, conflicting ideologies. From that you come up with ideal solutions. Um, I mean I don't I don't want to I mean I, I have to work on all of this but I kind of didn't want to go on to that Hmm. Okay, let me explain. All right, I think most people are familiar with the the U.S. government. Um, uh, well, I think most people are from are understanding or familiar with how the federal government works within the United States. We have three branches. I, mean, I think m more most people are understanding of the two branches. You have the executive branch, which is primarily the the president, the the current president is regarded as the executive branch and all of his aides, all of his um, secretaries, that's all part of the executive branch. Then you have the legislative branch which is composed of two houses, the House of Representatives and the Senate. And 
the Senate has two people per state, and the House of Representatives has about 516 members. It was kind of a iffy, iffy, I mean, that's the way it is. The system was not intended to be this way, but it they decided to keep it that way. So you have a bunch of people from all 50 states meet in these two houses, and they discuss issues that involve the entirety of the United States. And then you obviously have the judiciary branch, which is the third form, which is the court, the Supreme Court, which makes decisions if the legislative branch were to do something that they shouldn't do, it goes to the judiciary branch and they decide if this was unconstitutional or if it was constitutional in the same way with the executive branch. And it's, it's basically that's how, I mean, I don't want to really well, you know, it's, it's a lot, it's a little bit more complicated than what I just said, but that's the basics of it. Now, each state functions the exact same way. You have the executive branch, which is the governor, and all of his aides, and he has some powers before different people are appointed by the governor. Uh, then you have the legislative branch, similar, you have two houses. I think all 40, I think with that though, I think only 48 or 49 states actually have two houses. There's one state or two states that have, there's an anomaly in that system. But okay, the legislative branch, two houses, again, the Senate, and in New Jersey, for instance, it's called the Assemblyman or Assemblywoman, basically the Assembly, the Assembly and the Senate. And then obviously you have the Judiciary Branch, which is the Superior Court or the Supreme Court. Uh, yeah, I think it's the Supreme Court of New, of, New, of, of New Jersey, which not to be conflicted with the federal court, the states, the of the Supreme Court. Now, the legislation has a lot of people in it. Basically, it's not just one person or a few people. It's, it's a lot of different people that come from a lot of different backgrounds, and their job is to represent the in interests of either the people within the state. Yeah, basically, even in the federal, yeah. Um, the state gets broken down into little districts, kind of like um, the federal government gets broken down into different states. The individual state gets broken down into little districts. And you have people from those little districts that meet in the state legislation and they decide on state issues. Basic, what I'm not suggesting, but my observation is both in the federal government and in the state, a lot of people in the legislation, they have a business background where they're coming from business. And it shouldn't be that way. You should have a lot of different people within the legislation that come from all various different backgrounds. You should have a farmer, you should have a doctor, you should have a businessman, you should have uh, everybody. Because with that, when there's an idea to let's say there's be an issue to talk about growing car growing crops let's say something like that you know the businessman would have his own understanding of what that means the farmer has his own understanding because he has the experience of growing crops if they're talking about uh, let's say they want to ban a certain type of pesticide the farmer would know or would at least have a better understanding of what this type of pesticide is and how to have actually actually have experience first-hand experience dealing with this type of pesticide so in that sense I think you know that's that's what I believe it's the way that ideally that's the way it should work because then you have everybody's opinion it's it's a little hard to explain um, now, with the executive branch, I feel that the person, the governor, the president, should have an overall experience about a lot of different things. So, for instance, if you have a governor who has 40 years military background experience, um, it's the same thing as having a governor who has 40 years business experience. The same idea is if the governor has 40 years medical experience. They only, they have that understanding about only one aspect of society and you need to have a broader understanding of society in that type of position um, so for instance right now we have two candidates running for uh, 
presidency. I kind of agree with the whole thing. We should have, a, I mean, ideally we should have about 100, 200 people running for presidency right now. Unfortunately, we have about two. There's probably maybe 10, but the two that are the media is deciding to follow and the two that have the majority of all the money that is being pulled into the into the campaigns. Um, so, for instance, with the with the candidate uh, Romney, who's running for the Republican Party, fantastic. He has tremendous amounts of business experience, but um, see, this is another issue I kind of wanted to go over before I talk about this. I did not even want to talk about any of this, but it was I wanted to share this. Um, you know, fantastic. He has 40 years business experience. Super duper. But the government is not a business. And that's one of the things that, that seems to be going wrong with government. Is this idea, or this not idea, but government seems to be acting or mimicking business. It, it, it's not business. Government is never business. It's two different things. Even being a CEO of, let's say, Apple. Yeah, you have, you're managing, I don't know, 500,000 employees. That's a little different than managing a country of 265 million people. Yeah, it kind of gives you an edge up, um, but your whole life has been spent, or has been spent about thinking how to make money. Mm, not, I don't know, I see it as a conflict. I don't know. I don't think there's something wrong with that. But, I mean, he has a right to do it. I'm not denying him that right. You know, everybody has a right to run for anything. But um, but to say that somebody is worthy of a presidential to be a presidential candidate because he has X amount of years in business in the business world, I think is incorrect because. Well, the reality is our economy is in a difficult situation. That's understandable. But our government, you know, the economy is only one aspect of society. It's not the primary uh, primary aspect of society. It should never be the primary aspect of society. It should all be broken down into different sections and they should all be treated equally. Um, you know, what happens if our economy is tremendous but our criminal system is bad, we have a lot of criminals and there's a lot of crime. The economy doesn't solve that. The economy is just one aspect of society. That, that's all I suggest. Um, no, so basic, uh, okay, I think I'm finished with this. I'm disappointed with it, really, to be honest with you. There should be more people from running for presidency than just simply these two people, President Obama and President Trump and candidate Romney. I'm actually disappointed with President Obama, if anybody must know. Um, I will not be voting for either of the two people. Sim uh, President Obama simply because he doesn't... He... If these stories are to be true, that there are drones flying around in Pakistan, in Afghanistan and different parts uh, of the world um, dropping bombs on alleged terrorists or people to be believed to be uh, in the act of conspiring terrorism or committing terrorism um, and simply killing them I think is unconstitutional because in the United States we have the system of due process we should not be simply I think the president is should not should not be doing what he's doing. I think it's it's unconstitutional. He, there's no due process of law for these people being killed. There's a bomb being dropped down on people that the military and the secret services believe them to be quote unquote terrorists. Where there should be due process. We're a civilized progressive society that. that believes in due process of law. I can't just simply say, oh, he's a terrorist and whip out a gun and shoot him. You we have the due process. 
that should not be happening. We should be arresting them and try and if there's a crime that they've committed or if there's a belief that they're about to commit a crime and there's a strong evidence that there is a criminal system for that and you don't necessarily have to point the gun at somebody and kill them to be committed of a crime to, to be charged with a crime if you're planning or plotting to commit a crime that of itself is a crime so because they're in a different sovereign because they're in a different sovereign nation our rules of society don't apply over there or because I don't know or because we simply feel that terrorism is a, is a form of crime that our system of government our criminal system is not designed to address and if it is not designed to address then it simply must be we designed to address issues like this simply somebody being a terrorist is a criminal it's not some sort of a it's it's a it's a criminal behavior it, it, it's not some sort of a that's all it's it's some it's simply somebody being a criminal it's not anything beyond it's not something greater than that that's it somebody being a criminal somebody's thinking about killing people because they feel that for whatever reason there's multitude of reasons why people commit crimes and that itself is a criminal crime we should not be killed without due process I, 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 that's that's why I mean, it's a test of our constitution if we can't if our constitution cannot address that particular crime and then there's something wrong for our constitution and needs to be redesigned and you know, fortunately for us our constitution is designed to be a document and to be a system of, of rules that's evolving it's possible to evolve the constitution to add to amend to, to add an amendment it's designed that way so it just simply must be something within our criminal code or within the due process must be amended to address that type of behavior that's all it is Some, simply somebody plotting to, to, to create a bomb and to blow up a building is no different than somebody well there's some differences but it's no different than somebody being a, um, what's this word a person who simply just enjoys killing people um, there's a word for it. I don't know what the word for it is, but there's the word P cases of where, you know, uh, that was this person's thing to do. He just figures out people and then, not figures out people, but moves around and just wants to kill people from time to time. And that's, that's no different than that. I mean, it just... Because they both have a, a certain type of, of thinking that allows them or that they believe that they're not doing any harm or they feel like they should be allowed to do something like this uh, it's a little bit more com it's a lot more complicated than what I just said um, I didn't give it any it's something I need to give thought before I talk about something like this there's a tremendous amount of thought it has to be well thought out this was just fragments of ideas um, yeah, I want to end it here. I just wanted to, to kind of address the fact that I'm, I'm alive. I'm not, you know. Um, have a good day.